Welcome to this video where I want to have a look at propeller-like structures in the rings and how they relate to small moons which we would call moonlets. So firstly, moons inside the rings are not particularly rare. There are a few examples of those and the bigger ones like this one here which is Pan actually create a gap that goes all the way around the rings. And we can use the size of that gap to actually get the mass of it. And you can see there's two gaps here. One of those actually is a smaller moon, so it's a smaller gap. So these are like sort of kilometer sort of size. So the two examples here, one is about eight kilometers in size and one is about 30 kilometers in size. And the gap sizes scale with that mass of the moon. So actually you can use the gap size to calculate the mass of the moon. However, when you get smaller than that, so they're kilometre size. When you get to 100 metre sort of size, they just don't have enough mass or gravitational influence on the ring to carve out a gap. And instead, they just disturb the area around them locally. We would also call these moonless and not necessarily a moon because they're not a true moon. They're quite small. 100 metre sort of size is very, very small. And they're more like a large particle in the ring. So it's probably worth noting at this point that Saturn's rings are comprised of lots of small particles all orbiting around Saturn at the same time. It's not a solid structure and the rings can be thought of as individual little moons all orbiting that interact with each other as well. So these are fairly large particles in the rings which we then call moonlets. Now instead of you know, creating this gap they just do a localised distortion around them. So if you have a look that propeller-like structure in the center of that is where the moon is and then you have these kind of propeller arms coming out from that in the direction that it's actually orbiting and you've got a few examples here there's actually quite a few examples really in the rings but this is quite characteristic of a small object around 100 meters sort of size in the rings and the sort of structures that they actually form so there are kind of hundreds of these been discovered and there's some examples here you see there's loads in that frame just there and you imagine if you scale up to the entire rings so hundreds have actually been found but it's also expected that there are millions of these in the rings as well so these are not particularly rare things they're expected to be quite widespread in the rings and the other interesting thing is that the the size of the propeller can be used to determine the size of the moon or moonlet because if you have a look at these images and the ones we had a look at before you can't actually resolve the moon in the center they're too small and we can only just about resolve the ones that are kilometer sort of size but these ones are much smaller so we can't actually see them so the only way we can really determine what's there is the structure and the disturbance that they make on the ring so why is it a propeller shape well the first thing we need to mention really is Keplerian shear and that probably doesn't mean a lot but the thing we have to think about with Saturn's rings is it's a shearing flow or what that actually means is the inner part of the ring is orbiting faster than the outer part so you can think of it as like a yeah a, sh a shearing flow of particles and because of that you get this these characteristic shapes being formed so to give you a bit more of an idea really what Keplerian shear is this is an example of the orbital velocity in Saturn's rings from a computer simulation that I created and it shows you that the inner edge is orbiting at over 20 kilometers per second whilst the outer edge is orbiting considerably slower around about what well, probably less than 15 kilometers per second and the reason why that is the closer you are to Saturn the faster the orbital velocity needs to be in order to put it on a circular orbit so it doesn't actually fall into Saturn so because it's closer gravitational forces are going to be greater from Saturn so you get this kind of change in the orbital velocity as you change distance from Saturn. So that means that the inner edge is then rotating much much faster than the outer edge which is what comes to this shearing flow. So if we go back to the propeller shape in this one here towards the left hand side is towards Saturn. That means that anything on the left hand side of the propeller shape is orbiting faster than the ring structure on the opposite side which is towards the outer edge. So anything on the left hand side is actually overtaking the moonlet and the propeller shape and anything on the right hand side which is further out is actually going slower so the moonlet or the, the propeller is 
going faster or overtaking particles in the outer part. So here, to create that leading edge, so if you've got the moonlit in the middle, the bit I've highlighted there, and assuming that the orbital rotation in the ring around Saturn is actually upwards here, then on the inner part it's travelling faster, so it's actually overtaking the moonlet. That means that the in front of the moonlet, the leading structure, which is the first part of the propeller, is ahead of it because it's actually overtaking it and it's being is being formed in front of the moon. Whereas if we go to the second half, that is in the outer part, so that's travelling slower. So that means that's actually on the trailing edge as opposed to the leading edge. And it's down to this Keplerian shear. And if that still doesn't make much sense, then hopefully this kind of visualisation will. So if you were to put a camera on top of the moonlet and watch what happens to the ring particles around it, assuming that if you go down on here, that's towards Saturn, and if you go up, that is further away you can see the relative movement of the particles in respect to the moonlet. So this is what causes that shearing flow. Anything closer to Saturn is travelling faster, anything further away is travelling slower. So you, you can see that that moon would overtake slower particles, yet the faster particles closer would overtake the moonlet. So what's actually happening? Why are we getting the propeller shape? Well, one of those ring particles that goes to overtake it or even actually the moonlet overtakes it, it gets closer to that moonlet and the gravitational force essentially scatters it. It changes its orbit because it pulls it towards it and it, it changes its trajectory in that reference frame. And that happens to lots of particles all at the same time. And because their orbits are changed, they kind of overlap onto one another. And they, in turn, all together, create half of this propeller shape. Now, if you go to the opposite side, so if you go a little bit further in or further out, which is the, uh, the opposite one, it does exactly the same thing, but in the opposite direction. And because of that shearing flow, it's done it in a slightly different way. So this time round, it does the same thing, but you get the other half of the pro propeller shape occurring on the opposite side. And then in turn, they all add up together. So all those ring particles doing a similar sort of thing are disturbed and the overlap and create a higher density part where the propeller shape is. So finally really, if you've got a bigger moonlet, you get a bigger propeller because they have more mass and their gravitational interaction with the nearby particles is greater. So even though we can't see the moonlet in the centre, we can measure the size of that propeller because actually those are, those are quite straightforward to see or easier to see because they're bigger and then we can determine the size of the moonlet purely from that. And that's how we've determined that these are around about 100 meter sort of size compared to kilometer plus size for the ones that create the full gap. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.